lovelies welcome back to the northern city youtube channel you are hosted by yasmin Marie's dragon also the owner of northern city um welcome so today we're going to be doing a step-by-step -step how to do a classic northern city instagram edit and it's quite a process so just bear with me um and let's get straight into it so first thing you want to do is jump onto star stable and find a spot to take a photo so we chose the cloud kingdom which is super fitting for our pride themed edit with the rainbows and everything and the color now once you have your photo and you've edited it how you'd like to i always make it so it's during the day not at night just so it's nice and bright and then i go into my editing process so first thing you want to do is go into adobe lightroom this is quite expensive i use it for other stuff so if you can find other apps um for an alternative then beautiful i don't know what other apps to use so i just use this one so first thing you want to do is chuck an edit on it i always choose one of my nc edits you can see on the side here i have nc nca nc best and these are all presets that i've made over time that i like and i just keep so i can just quickly chuck it on and then it's easy for me what i'm doing is just going through and changing the coloring making it brighter because it is a pride post i want to make it as bright and as colorful as possible once i've done that i head down to the selective edits which is this little circle just on the right here and i click plus and then i click on the brush and i start to draw what selective edits i want to do and this essentially just whatever part you draw on is the part that you're editing so right now i'm making a rainbow behind our northern city members and i'm doing that by creating heaps of different sections and coloring them in the colors of the rainbow so right now what i'm doing is just choosing the colors and desaturating them to match the kind of pastel theme of our instagram so once i've gone through and done all of that i'm just repositioning to make sure the rainbow flows like a rainbow should and then i go in and just click the little erase button underneath the brush select or edit i need to um, erase and just erase the parts that have been drawn over the top of our members so you can get the effect that the rainbow is behind obviously i don't always do this but this is the next edit i was doing so i thought i would do the youtube video on this so now i'm doing a selective edit on the sky part of my photo and this is how i get the orangey peachy tint in my photos so i draw all over the parts that i want to be covered in this color and once i've drawn and colored in where i want it to be i just go in and erase the edges around the parts that i don't want to be colored in orange once i've done this i go onto the side and click on my selective edits and color and here it'll show hue and the color that you can change it to. I generally put it to an orangey tint and then I will be changing the hue to an orange. This is pretty bright and that's not as bright as I want it to be. So I'm just gonna take the saturation down so I can give that pastel effect. So that's all done with Lightroom. Now we move on to Procreate. So what you wanna do is go in, select a new um, canvas and then I just select the size of my iPad screen then you want to insert the photo that you want to edit and size it up to fit the whole screen so the first thing I do is make a new layer you don't want to draw on top of the actual photo because if then you want to erase something you end up actually erasing the photo underneath so make sure you're always making new layers when you're starting to draw different sections of the photo. So firstly, I'm just going in and starting on the hair. I use Crystal Hawkley brushes. I've downloaded a lot of her packs. They're absolutely incredible. So the brush I'm gonna be using for the hair is full with details. And I just do this over all of my characters that I have in the photo. 
Right now I'm choosing a darker colour and then going into a lighter colour just because this particular character has an ombre effect. Now what I'm doing is I'm just making sure I blend it out. For this particular hair it's really important because it's an ombre so you don't want it to look like really staggered. And then I'm just doing this on every single character. Once I'm happy with the base layer, I go and make another layer and I go into my glitter hair and choose Strawned. This is also another Crystal Hawkley brush kit. This is what I use for highlights. I never used to use this for highlights in the past. You can just use a bunch of lighter colours with the same hairbrush you were using. But I have started using this recently because it's just really, really quick and effective. So as you can see here, I'm having a little bit of trouble with this particular hair. I'm just not happy with it. So I decided to completely erase it and start again. And honestly, I do this all the time. I feel like people are scared to erase their work because they're like, oh no, I've spent so much time on it. But seriously, if something isn't working for you, just start again. Like that's the best way to achieve what you want to get. So the finishing touches on the hair once I've done the highlights, I just get a flare brush, put it down to a really small size, and then I place the flares just on parts of the highlighted bits of the hair, just to create an extra like glitter and glow. Now I finished with the hair, I'm going to move on to the horse tails. Right now I'm just doing the base of the tails. I'm starting with a darker color and then going in with a lighter color. So you can see now on the brown tail, because a brown Frisian's mane in Star Stable is normally ombre, I'm going in with an ombre effect and just moving the colour lighter and lighter and lighter each time and just drawing lower and lower each time. Then the same goes for the black manes and the other brown mane. I'm just doing highlights and then choosing lighter colours to go over the top of that. Once I've done that, I go in with my highlight tool. Again, it's the same brush and just place highlights where I think is appropriate. Also, when I'm doing this, I always use my little eye drop tool to get the color of the original mane, just so it's completely matched back to the actual horse. Now I've done the highlights, I just add the little flares on the highlighted bits of the tails and then that's the tails all done. Now the last step for Procreate is the background. I always add a glitter to the background, I feel like it's really sweet and adds a really cute element. I use the brush Idolize and put it all around where our members are situated. So as you can see I've got heaps of layers, I cannot stress this enough, just make sure you're always adding layers. For every highlight, every different color bit in the main, I've added a layer. So once you've done all of that, you want to export, save the image, and now we're moving on to the next part. So once I save my photo, I just go into my photos app and crop down the photo because when you save it from Procreate, for me, I get a white border around my photo. And so I just want to crop it down so it's just the photo itself. So now I'm going into a lens distortions app. I absolutely love lens flares, I just think they add a really beautiful element to any photo. So right now I'm adding one on the top left of the corner and I'm just going to go in and change the saturation to a bit higher. I put the temperature a bit cooler so it's not too warm on the photo and then I also change the contrast to a bit higher as well so it stands out. And now I'm just doing the same process on the bottom right with a more intricate flare. So when that's done, you just want to go ahead and save that to your album. Now we're going into a watermark app. So a watermark is a little thing that I have in the top right of our Northern City edits. So you can see here, it's giving me a bunch of different options as to what I want to create my watermark with. I always use the same one. So I'm just going to place that in the spot, change the color, size it up. And after I've done that, I go ahead and type the letters that are inside our watermark. So again, just going to choose the same brown color. I'm going to size it up and then place it inside and then save to gallery. 
and once you save it that is literally done so i really hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was really insightful and helped you out if you are starting to edit and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you next time Thank you.